Hi beauties, it's Violetta and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to discuss with you a capsule wardrobe topic and specifically I want to share with you the mistakes I have made when I was building my first capsule wardrobe. As you might know, I followed the minimalist approach for a little bit more than three years. And two years ago, I completely rebuilt my wardrobe and uh, I got rid of most of the items. And since that, I built a very curated capsule wardrobe that I love and it inspires me every day to get dressed. Even though so I do believe that no matter how many tutorials and videos you're gonna watch, you're still gonna have some of the mistakes, but I just hope this video will help you to avoid some of the mistakes and to have less mistakes and potentially save money because unnecessary purchases means extra expenses. But first things first, what is capsule wardrobe? So capsule wardrobe is a set of clothes that work with each other so you can mix and match easily. And the main goal of a capsule wardrobe is to make getting dressed in the morning easier and uh, to save money because you have the items that go with each other. So you have a lot of options every morning. You don't have this desire to buy something new because you feel like you don't have anything to wear. So let's start with the mistakes and let's go through all of them. Mistake number one is not having enough bottoms. One bottom and nine tops means nine outfits, but five Five bottoms and five tops means 25 outfits. It didn't click in my mind at first why I didn't have enough outfits. It took me a little so some time to figure out that that's because I only have one pair of bottoms that I like and I choose most of the time. So but my capsule wardrobe was a little bit limiting uh, and uh, every morning I felt like I kind of create the same outfit over and over again. I had like different sweaters or different tops but anyway I had kind of like one bottom and my outfits felt like they were the same. I changed that, I got additional uh, bottoms and now it's it's a game changer. Also, I am a curvy girl. It was hard, I mean it, it is still hard to find a new bottoms and I feel like that's kind of the main reason why girls um, have less bottoms is because they are insecure about the body type or they don't know how to buy a pair that actually, you know, like in favor of their body type. So I was the same and yes, it's extra work, yes, it's extra time, it's way harder to buy new bottoms, a good fitting new bottom than it is to buy a new Sweater, but keep in mind you need at least five three to five bottoms in your capsule wardrobe to make good lasting capsule wardrobe the one that you will be very happy about and the one that will make you feel motivated to dress every morning my choices like I have five bottoms that are my favorites so it's a pair of light blue denim it's a it's a dark blue denim it's a black denim a pair of relaxed very casual pants and a pair of tailored pants or it could be a skirt depends on your style but make sure you have at least three to five bottoms in your wardrobe for each season mistake number two was impulse shopping or buying too much too fast so once I learned about this capsule wardrobe technique I was so inspired to create a capsule wardrobe for myself and I rushed some of the purchases because you know I wanted to have it as soon as possible I watched all these videos and I learned that it's like super beneficial and I wanted it for myself but now I know it takes some time I would say it's take um, half a year to a year to a person to build a capsule wardrobe unless you are uh, working with a professional like a stylist then yes of course you can do it like very fast but if you do it yourself give yourself some time first you, you cannot financially afford buying everything of good quality uh, at one time you will do some bad choices you will choose a worse quality just because you can afford that and second you just need some time to see what you need to be added to your capsule wardrobe since like I rushed some of the purchases I regret some of them like at the end I had to declutter some of my rushed purchases even though I had the intention of buying them for capsule wardrobe I didn't have enough knowledge to buy all the items at the same time right away so give yourself a time it's a slower process and you're doing for the rest of your life so even if it takes you a year to build a capsule wardrobe it's fine you will enjoy this capsule wardrobe for another 10 years so it's fine to give yourself a little time mistake number three that I made not dressing for real life I'm a person who likes casual comfortable look and it took me some time to figure out that before I thought that I like the dressy structured looks I forced it to myself I forced myself to dress more and I always felt very self-conscious and very uncomfortable and I felt like everyone is watching me because I'm so overdressed and uh, because of that feeling I didn't feel very confident in what I was wearing so those dressy items they were in my wardrobe
wardrobe, but I wouldn't wear them because I didn't want to feel self-conscious. So my advice is to analyze your lifestyle and accept your lifestyle. If you like casual, very comfortable, relaxed looks, then shop for the specific looks. Go on Pinterest and uh, any style can be very stylish. Any style can be stylish. It doesn't make any sense, but you know what I mean, right? I like relaxed and relaxed could be very stylish. Loose uh, jeans and oversized sweater with uh, a little bit like oversized coats and uh, accessories. It could be very, very nice and it's like Scandinavian relaxed or style. Shop for, for real life for the situation you're gonna be actually dressing up. If it's sweaters, buy sweaters. If you like very structured, like I do have a, a girlfriend that likes heels and like very like structured blouses and she does it every morning. She She's that kind of person who, who can maintain it and she loves it. I mean, she, her capsule wardrobe is so different from my capsule wardrobe. Hers is very dressy and when we're together it doesn't mean that I look less stylish. We just look completely different. She has high heels, she has like very tailored pants and most of the time blouses or shorts and structured blazer or a coat while I have jeans and sneakers and relaxed uh, fit tops. So it doesn't mean that one of the styles is better, just and decide what you like and uh, buy for your current real life, you will see the benefit of it because you will have the items that you can actually wear every day to your real life. And when I was building like, my capsule wardrobe, I, I bought some of the dressy items because, you know, I thought that like, I needed a blouse and I didn't get rid of all of them. I just created occasional uh, capsule wardrobe. So if you have something new in your wardrobe and you feel like you're not gonna wear this a lot, don't get rid of it. It could be a perfect piece for occasional capsule wardrobe and I do have one that consists roughly of 10 items and uh, all of them are very dressy so it's perfect for holiday season for you know weddings for special occasions obviously I don't wear it a lot it's only like once or twice a year but I have them and when time comes I don't need to shop for a new dress to go somewhere I have that kind of like small set of clothes that go with each other and that are dressy I think you can do with the dressy items in your wardrobe if you don't wear them on a daily basis you can just create the occasional uh, capsule wardrobe, have it on the side of your wardrobe and uh, use when needed. Mistake number four is not shopping for my current size. I've done that mistake so many times in the beginning. I was growing with uh, with lots of brothers and uh, male uh, cousins, so I had this insecure about my body. They done it intentionally, they, like, you know, like they didn't say specifically in my face that I'm fat or I'm not their type, but when I saw their girlfriend and I always compared myself to them. I'm not that model type. So even though now I completely understand that I have a very good body and have a very good figure, but before that, when I was first building my capsule wardrobe, I had that insecurities about my body type and specifically about the bottom part of my body. So I wasn't dressing the bottom of my body properly. You know, I was constantly on a diet trying to lose weight. So I had a lot of items that are a little bit too small for me to motivate myself to lose weight, which never, never worked. Don't do this mistake. Shop for your current size. And it's actually very sad to dress for smaller size and and completely ignore your current uh, size so don't do it it's not good for a capsule wardrobe because you won't have enough items to wear on a daily basis in your current size but also it's not very good for your mental health as well and definitely it's not good for your uh, self-esteem so shop for your current size for example I'm not very tall I'm 165 and I'm on the curvy side so I have heavier hips um, and I have um, heavier legs so whenever I create an uh, outfit I always try to lighten my bottom and and to add a little bit on my top so I can balance the body. Even though I'm more of an hourglass shape, I still have a little bit heavier bottom. So I accepted that, it's fine. Yes, I can wear culottes even though I love them, but I can't wear them because they cut half of the cuff, so it shortens my leg even more. I just learned what doesn't look good on me and I just use the items that look good on me. And I have a few tricks about how to correct, not to correct, how to enhance what nature gave me. So for example, 
crossbody bag. I love them a lot and I mostly use crossbody bag. It's so convenient. When I wear crossbody bags, I make sure that the bag itself is hitting me at the skinniest part of my body, which is waist, instead of hitting me at the hips. That's kind of the mistake I did before. So when you put something uh, heavy at your hips, you make your hips heavier. If that's what you need, if you have like very small hips compared to your shoulders, that's what you do. You add the volume at your hips, but it's not for me. I actually need to lighter my bottom. So I put the, the bag or the belt accent on my waist because that's the smallest part of my body. So that's a trick. And then of course I choose high-waisted jeans, high-waisted skirts, high-waisted pants so I can elongate my not very <laughs> long legs and I can make an accent on the smallest part of my body, which is my waist. Learn your body type and shop for your current size and for your current body type. If it happens that you lose weight, I mean, come on, who doesn't like a little bit oversized, a little bit relaxed jeans? It's such a good vibe. And if you lose a lot of weight, then of course you can try it yourself with a new pair of jeans, okay? Mistake number five is copying someone else's capsule wardrobe. Because we live in this digital world, most of us are watching tutorials and videos of other YouTubers or fashion bloggers. You want it or you don't want it, you unintentionally might copy someone's capsule. And I've done it as well. Um, I've done, not, not entirely, but I've done like some part of the, the capsule wardrobe that I thought that's perfect, so I need that as well. Like even you watching my capsule, my videos, you might think that my capsule wardrobe is perfect. It is perfect for me. It's full of basic colors and you are the perfect Person who might be bored with this set of colors you might want more colors or more like a complicated structure or something so make sure you add pieces that you're happy to wear on a daily basis and that makes you excited to get dressed in the morning as already mentioned I love culottes if I could wear culottes with my body type I would so totally have them in my wardrobe so if I don't have something in my wardrobe it doesn't mean that I think it's not functional and it's not a good idea for a capsule wardrobe it's just I have my specific body type and uh, some of the choices in my capsule wardrobe are dependent on my body type. When you see another person uh, capsule wardrobe, just have that in mind that yes, it's a um, specific person lifestyle, it's specific person preferences, she likes to, or he, she likes to wear it. And also it's body type and complexion. So it's four things that a person's capsule wardrobe is dependent on. When you create your own, you need to make sure you count on those four things and you're benefiting your specific life lifestyle, your life, your body type. Hope I described it well. In the beginning when I was just building the capsule wardrobe, I copied some of the things in other people's uh, wardrobe and unfortunately it, um, at the end I didn't really wear them because then it was not my type. I didn't feel good in them. So yes, you can be inspired by other people's capsule wardrobe and yes, there are the core items that are in some capacity in each capsule wardrobe like white t-shirt, blue denim, black sweater, but the rest depending on a person's lifestyle, body type, and preferences in general. Mistake number six is buying too many duplicates or too many like similar items. In the beginning when I was just starting the capsule wardrobe approach, it felt a little limited because I didn't have enough of items to create a lot of outfits and I didn't have the knowledge what I need to add to my current wardrobe. Kind of the first choice was to buy something very similar because I use this black sweater a lot. Maybe I can benefit off a black crew neck. And honestly, it doesn't work that way because I ended up having kind of the same outfit like I didn't increase the number of outfits because the black sweater and black crewneck work the same way so if I wear black crewneck on Monday and black sweater on Tuesday people would think I wear the same outfit because they look the same so now before I buy any items to my capsule wardrobe I always photoshop it in my current wardrobe I most of the time I have a very updated version of my capsule wardrobe and I use Photoshop or Canva it's very easy to use you can just photoshop in a new item you can see if you need it and if it adds the value to your current wardrobe because what happened to me instead of buying a pair of trousers or pants I really needed I would buy a pair of jeans because that's something I was very comfortable with buying blue denim another blue denim it's kind of the same outfit I'm a visual person so I photoshop things into my current wardrobe but uh, you can use whatever method works for you now I'm a little bit better with visualizing I remember all the items I have and even without the Canva without Photoshop I can just think oh I have a very similar item or oh I can create the outfit by just using this and this in my wardrobe but at the beginning I needed this visual training of Photoshop or Canva so it helped me a lot with the mistake of buying duplicates and 
competitive items, uh, which do not help. Even if it's a good quality, but if it's the same item, just two copies of it, it doesn't help your uh, wardrobe. And the last mistake is not having enough of basics in your capsule wardrobe. I've done that mistake as well. My mistake was more duplicates than not having enough basics, but there are different types of basics and it's very important to hit every box of basics. There are basic bottoms, and there are basic tops and basic toppers, basic accessories. So it's very important to have each category to create a very good, very functional capsule wardrobe. Because basic items are a core of your capsule wardrobe. And it could be a little bit different for each person depending on the personal style, depending on the complexion, depending on the body type. But white t-shirt could be boxy, crisp white t-shirt, or it could be ivory there fitted white t-shirt. It's still white t-shirt. There are a few items that you for sure need in your capsule wardrobe, like white t-shirt, black t-shirt, gray t-shirt, black sweater, beige sweater, blue denim, then some kind of pants, skirt, white sneakers, black boots, and a purse. That's kind of the core items that the minimum you need. And just having these items, you can create a number of outfits. That's it. I have shared with you seven mistakes I've made when I was building my first capsule wardrobe. Let me know in comments if you want me to elaborate on, on one of the categories more, or let me know what you what mistakes you have done when you're building your capsule wardrobe or anything else. Let me know uh, what you think. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video. Bye.